स्थापकाय च धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णाय ते नम Master, that is Sri Ramakrishna is singing a song. Oh, mind, you do not know how to farm. Manaretu krishi ka janena. Fellow lies the field of your life that is unused, uncultivated. It is lying, the field is kshetra, is fallen. If you had only worked it well, that is the purpose for which this bodily existence was given. Well, how rich a harvest you might have, you reap. That is the highest thing. That is richest person you will be by getting the enlightenment, realization. Hedge it with Kali's name. It would be, if you would keep your harvest safe to protect your life, uh, take the name of Kali. Any here, Kali doesn't mean, doesn't mean Kali only. All aspects of God. When we, because Sri Ramakrishna entertained Kali because Divine Mother in all aspects, the Kali concept is a image in its totality. The underlying Shiva lying down is the substratum, unmoving eternal substratum, that is the Brahman. The Kali is manifested universe with all its, all aspects of nature is there within that Kali's picture. The whole universe, whatever you want in this, she herself has become the static and dynamic aspect of existence. Existence has two entities in it, two existences as if. One is the absolute existence, which is unchanging eternal reality, a ocean of bliss, peace, love, absolute. And the other is constantly changing, this unchanging beyond time and space. The other is within the time and space and it is constantly changing. The changeless and ever changing. The universe is ever changing. This is absolutely unchanging. This is one without a second. That is duality and multiplicity is there in that. Uh, exactly opposite that is governed by time and space there is no neither time nor space nor it is governed by any law the absolute existence there in the relative existence everything is time and space bound nothing can move without time and space so in the whole thing two existences and we are in the time and space limited existence. Hmm. The Kali is, Sri Ramakrishna adopted this aspect, it is whole, the absolute and relative together. The absolute is the substratum, Shavarupa Shiva, the corpse like lying down Shiva, because it is unchanging eternal reality. And the other is the ever changing, the whole thing. And then he takes the Kali aspect, Kali includes both, but he calls Divine Mother. The motherhood, they are the motherhood of the reality, the existence. Its motherhood is brought out because Shakti is common to all. There is no in power or energy. In energy, there are no dualities or multiplicities. Anybody can use it. 
Uh, energy takes different forms. Heat energy can be converted into light energy, light energy can be converted into sound energy, but the energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can be changed from one phase to the another phase. It can go on changing. Hmm. That's why God is something like that. When we come to the energy shakti, you will see that Vaishnavi Shakti, Shaivi Shakti, uh, whoever uses it is the, his Shakti. I have my Shakti, you have your the Shakti, there is no difference. In me and you, there is difference. But in Shakti, it is not different. It is same Shakti. That one existence that has become all, and one existence which is pervading all, and one existence which is there as the objects and this one and independent of it, the Shakti aspect and never changes with anything nor allows anything to be changing with it. So this is the, because of the equanimity hmm, that Shakti is taken, all consciousness, because when it comes to the consciousness, Shiva consciousness, Vishnu consciousness, the power that they possess is limiting the consciousness. But power itself is not limited by anything. Consciousness can be limited and just like space can limit, the space itself cannot be limited. Now, pot space, room space, pot space, what is limiting the, as if the space, but space is not limited by it. Hmm. The space appears to be limited in the pot and vast here and unlimited outside. These upadis appear to limit, but it is not limited. So, the here Kali name includes everything, any deity, any god, any aspect you can take. It is a Kali's name means of your Ishta Devata. If you would keep your harvest safe, this is the strong, strongest hedge. For death himself cannot come near it. If, the, if you put the because suppose any any aspect of God, so Krishna or Rama or any aspect of God, of any religion, you are holding on to as divine, as the God absolute, he is the supreme, the ultimate, then holding on to it, you slowly develop identity or belonging to it. I belong to God, I am God's, or I am one with God. So, that identity, identification, this itself releases you from all bonds. Hmm. The identity, you, death cannot come because you are holding on to God. God has no death. An unchanging eternal reality has no death. So, when you hold, as long as you are holding on to that divine, even death cannot come. Sooner or later will dawn the day when you must forfeit your precious field. Uh, you feel you have to return back. It is somebody's property. It is not mine. I have to give it back. Hmm. That giving back is the most important part. That I have to give it back to the owner. Now I am utilizing a vehicle which belongs to someone, I have to return it one day. The returning part is what counts. Now body has come into existence one day, it is going to leave me one day. It has to be returned back. It goes back to the source. Hmm. It has to be returned. Sooner or later, day will come when you must forfeit your precious field. Gather, O oh mind, what fruit you may, sow for your seed the holy name. 
Hmm. Whatever you want, as long as you have to return it one day, some sooner or later it is going to come. Within that time, still there is time, still there is time. Attain what you have to attain. Hmm. Many people feel, I become old, I am retired, I am not able to do. Young days, they think, uh, early days, people also say, this is not the time to call upon God. There is time, old age comes, uh, you can call upon God in, at that time. When we enter, old age will know that we will not be able to call on God. The momentum, it is like a vehicle. You are on the top of the hill and you are, oh, it has four wheels, I have nothing to worry. Uh, I, I have brake in my vehicle. Once it leaves the top of the mountain and starts rolling down, nothing can be done. It has wheels, it is running on the wheels. Any amount of your brake, all the four wheels stop moving. Still it will be sliding down. Like that is the momentum that you gain in the world. You can, your mind doesn't, by no means you can keep your mind on the, at the feet of God. Because of the momentum. So old age we think we will be able to peacefully sit, all our duties will be over. And I can call on God. It will never happen. Hmm. So, field has to be returned and within that field, time, don't wait, uh, old age will come, a day my, all my problems will go, finish, my children will get settled down, all these things will happen after that. I know, they, we don't know when death is going to come. And one first thing, second is, we will not be able to do anything later on. So, when it is still in your possession, it is still in good condition, uh, take out the harvest, strive to attain. Whatever fruit you may sow for your seed, the holy name, you, Guru gives you the seed, mantra, Bija mantra. Sow it in your heart. O oh, of God, that your Guru has given you, holy name of God. God Guru has given you your Ishtadevata's name. Name is the mantra. He has given you the mantra. See that you flow in your life's field, faithfully watering it with love. With deep love, you go on offering the fruit. Hmm. With love, whatever you offer, whatever you do, including the fruit of your karma. When you do karma, you, we are constantly doing actions. We have to offer it to God. Then and there, the karma, karma phala and kartrito buddhi, the doership and the act we have done and its fruit, forecoming fruits, all this will be continuously offered to God as long as we are engaged in the activities, watering it with love. And if you, any separately worship, separately japa, separately dhyana, and work is the other field where you will have to work for the just because you have taken a body. The body needs its existence and you have to work for that. And that work has to be offered. The mantra, japa, dhyana and our spiritual practice is one part. Work in is another part. The third part is the services that you offer to the world. What are you going to give to the world? Some services, trying to see the divine in them. And if you should find 
the task too hard call upon ram prasad for help ram prasad is a saint who has written and sung this song now this we see uh, we often see there is there are two or three influences that we pass through one is the guru who helps us with the proper path and proper things now this is the way you have to give go this is the mantra you have to repeat this is the way you have to do dhyana this all this you will introduce and give this is one then this alone will not help us there must be some impetus coming from within i must have the hopes faith and the faith and hopes come from the scriptures and then from the saint's life ram prasad is a saint if you find it difficult uh, call upon ram prasad look at my life the saint is telling just look at my life how mother saved me how mother brought me from the world to the spiritual world how she was protecting me while i was in the outside in the secular life and how she is protecting me now after i take up the spiritual life now you see how mother has been he is giving his own example of life if you find any difficulty look at me come to me take my help my help is no more he cannot physically help you but he has left behind a huge legacy of his own life his own kritis uh, utilize any of his song i have written such songs i passed through when i he pa- was passing through your place and i just coming out i was explaining how it would be those words of mine will help you those the life which i have lived the life which i have struggled in this my, my spiritual world will help you give you the direction it's like compass we are taking up a journey in sea or ocean you need a compass to see your direction which direction am i going how it is happening so this understanding what all you need this is this second important the guru the scriptures the saints and their life is a constant inspiration and fills us with hope yes i can do this and leela of god is another support the leela of god gives you the possibility of your realization i won't be able to keep do much in my life i know but every step that i keep god comes running to that extent suppose i keep one step he keeps hundreds of steps and reaches me towards me so this aspect of then comes the parents and society if you see so many things will be helping you and similarly their prayers the so many people sages also when they left the, their bodies after realizing god after enlightenment not only they gave the, uh, us the message of the truth i have seen and come veda ametam purusham mahantam uh that alone did not come then he gave the advice also hmm. if you strive you will just attain to strive that that's the only way hmm. veda ametam purusham mahantam aditya varanam tamasap parastat tameva viditva te mrityu that's the only way to cross over the death and uh, this problem of death, birth and death to attain tameva viditva 
ಅತಿ ಮೃತ್ಯು ಮೇತಿ ನಾನ್ಯ ಪಂಥ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಆಯ್ನ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಚಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ವೇ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇಸ್ ಟು ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹೀ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ದ ಹೋಪ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೀಚ್ಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಡನರಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಐ ಟು ಕುಡ್ ರೀಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಟು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೀಚ್ ವೇದ ಅಹಮೇತ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋನ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಹಾಂ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ದಿ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ದಿ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಅನದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಹೋಪ್ಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಫೇತ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರಲ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಪ್ರೇ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದೆಮ್ ಗೋ ದೆ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಎನ್ಲೈಟ್ then apart from praying he blesses us swasti va paraya tamasap parasta may you be may you be blessed to transcend and go beyond may you cross over blessing cross over this. all these are going to help all these are going to keep you intact make your life fruitful make your life capable you will be able to do you will be able to achieve and all these factors apart from your own sadhana apart from your own merits these factors always remember guru mother who has given the birth mother prakriti they will be always behind you these forces will be always protecting you at all times you have nothing to fear you have nothing to uh, worry your karmic merit is entirely different from all this uh, without karmic blessing you will not be able to come into this field apart from coming to this field and working these are the factors that will be constantly governing and guiding you in every possible way uh, so we see shri ram krishna singing this song many times he repeats and gives us this understanding what it is how you will be able to reach that transcendental realm mm. and one of the important things you see in ram krishna's advices is depend upon god dependence hmm he is singing take the help of mother may fencing yourself your life fencing your life with god's name is depending on t- you have to protect me mother you have to protect me i can't protect myself in this world i can't protect from my temptations i cannot protect from the karmic load that i am going to experience this sukha dukha i am not able to now you have to protect me and see that you have to protect me in such a way that i am not going to get involved more in this world again keep me free keep me uh, keep me in your lap so this prayer constant prayer, that is dependence on god again shri ram krishna says our power our energy our intelligence our all strength is insufficient to cross over the it is not possible to cross over this maya at all mama maya duratyaya mameva ye prapadyante maya me tam tarantite my maya is invincible nobody can cross over her the world is a product of maya one appearing as many she has made god appear as a world and you are captured and caught in that there is no escape from that 
ಬಟ್ ಈ ಮಾಮೇವ ಏ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯಂತೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೇ ಏತಾಂತರ ಇದೆ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಎಂಟೈರ್ಲಿ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೆವರ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಈ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಆರ್ ಡೂ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಮೈ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಪತ್ತಿ ಮಾಮೇವ ಏ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯಂತೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೇ ತಾಮ್ ತರಂದಿದೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ವೇ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ and smoothly going path like a train going flight has its own fears and anxiety vehicles all other vehicles have their own but a train which runs on the track on rails has no fear it smoothly goes and reaches the destiny because it is set path shri ram krishna is giving you that set path of direct dependence on god direct love of god directly bringing god into your life and you are total giving yourself to god om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ramakrishna arpanamastu